In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a quiz in Quiz Is. I've already gone ahead and gone to quizis.com, and I'm going to need to select Log In. If you already have an account, go ahead and enter in your username and password. Otherwise, click Sign Up, fill in this short form, then enter your username and password and log in. Once you log in, you'll be at your Quiz Is dashboard. To create a new quiz, you'll either click Create Your Own Quiz or click Create. You'll need to enter some quiz info, a cover image is optional, you'll need to name your quiz, decide your language, and mark your quiz either public or private. Public means it goes into the searchable Quiz Is database and anybody can access it. Private means it's only accessible to you. Now you're ready to add your questions. You'll add your questions and answer choices over here on the left. You'll see the question preview over here on the right. You need to have at least two answer choices, but you can have up to four. You also need to mark which answer is correct. Note that you can have more than one correct answer. Also notice that you can add an image to go along with your quiz. You can also set the time. The time limit is the number of seconds or minutes that the students have to answer the question. By default, it sets to 30 seconds, but you can see I can set it up anywhere up to 15 minutes. So these longer time links down here are great if you're having a groups of students collaborate on questions before they put in the answer and they need time to do that, or you can absolutely do a math quiz in Quiz Is and give them longer, uh, longer time limit to answer the question so they can work out the problem before they put in the answer. I'm going to leave this set to 30 seconds, but speaking of math quizzes, you absolutely can use quizzes to uh, do a math quiz. You'll notice this option here, the insert symbol option. If you pull that up, look at all of these different symbols that you can use to create math questions. What a great option in quiz is. When you're ready, you're going to go ahead and click new question to add another question. Don't forget to adjust the time limit if you need to and select the correct answer. When you're done adding your questions, you'll need to click Finish. You'll need to specify the approximate grade level that this quiz is good for by clicking and dragging on the sliders. You'll need to select the subject as well as the topic, and you can also enter some search tags that people can use when they're searching for to locate this particular quiz. Go ahead and click Finish and Create Quiz. You'll be taken to your quiz where you will be given the option to play it live or assign it as homework. You can duplicate this quiz, you can edit this quiz, and you can delete this quiz. Notice that you also have options for sharing this quiz either via link or social media. If you scroll down further, you will see your quiz, all of the questions in it, the, number of the, num the time limit for each question. You can also toggle the answers on and off. When you're done, you can go to My Quiz Is to see all of the quizzes that you have created that belong into you, in your account, and you can also click My Reports. This shows you the quizzes that you have completed and will allow you to view the report for the, that quiz. So if you didn't have time to view the quiz after it was completed, notice note that your quizzes will be stored in My Reports and you can go back and view the results at a later time. So that's how easy it is to create a quiz in Quizzes.